Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 103. <laughs> yeah, episode 103 of Bash of the Beast All Generation. Um <laughs> yeah, this is a yeah. This is the last video of the recording session I'm doing. And yeah, looking at some storage memory I'm have I storage troubles I'm having. Yeah, that this is gonna have to be the last video for until I upload these four, then I can continue doing more. Storage, pain in the ass. But I got two beasts fighting out, one from the new generation and one from the very large group of specials. So, representing series 19, the Kingdom of Dragons, probably <laughs> the series which I think is the only one to not lose a single beast from round one. They already lost one in round two. Would it lose another? Well, we'll find out. But the killer of Isrilla, the creeping menace in round one, we have Vetrix the poison dragon. Versus special number 18, the killer of Foron the living storm, Falcor the coiled terror. So both of these beasts, honestly, all right. I mean, I like one more than the other. And the other I did really like, and then it just kind of went down in like ability to me. But yeah, I still kind of like them. With that, let's get into the stats. We'll start with Vetrix. This long, sinuous winged dragon hisses like a lizard as he stalks his prey, spraying jets of green acid from his spiked ruff, which can dissolve the flesh of his enemies. In seconds, his poisonous bite turns to blood in Tom's veins, icy cold. Stats, age 307, power 263, magic level 145, fright factor 93, and size 263. Flight, uh, abilities are flight, acid manipulation, poisonous bite, natural weaponry, enhanced strength, and resurrection. Weaknesses are inability to breathe underwater. Oh no! Uh, yeah, so Vetrix has skills but can't breathe underwater, so... Don't know how that works, but okay. And also the resurrection ability is banned. Right, hey, if a phoenix can't have it, neither can Vetrix, okay. <laughs> now we just need to find uh, Falcors. Really testing my knowledge of the alphabet here. There we are. Okay. Okay, this vast dark snake is one of the most ancient creatures ever to protect the kingdom and a companion of Rufus, Avantia's first wizard. But when he is bewitched by Beric, the venomous beast poses a threat to the whole kingdom. Both his bites and his squeezing coils are killers. Uh, Facts is, the Chronicles of Avantia have many tales of Falcor's heroics. Age 432, power 283, magic level 168, fright factor 83, size 333. Abilities are Agility. Acidic Saliva, Constriction, Enhanced Durability, and Tail Whip. With Enhanced Durability, it also goes along with Acid Resistance Scales. As I personally believe that every Acid-Related acid Beast should have Acid, acid re uh, Resistance Scales. So, yeah. So, with that, as for... Battlefield, let's go with... Oh, come on, let's go with my favourite. Rocky Terrain. Of course it's the Rocky Terrain. <laughs> Vetrix versus Falcor. Let's get into this. As the chamber doors open, Falcor coils into the centre of the arena, going around all the rocks, scouring the arena, trying to find his opponent. As Vetrix bursts through the sky exit, roars into the arena, Falcor only roars back at v Vetrix. Uh, Falcor goes to lunge towards Vetrix. Vetrix gets out of range and starts flap flapping his gills to spray acid onto Falcor. Falcor almost like leans back and enjoys the acidic shower that is happening. Vetrix is in shock from the resistance of the acid. Vetrix comes down towards Falcor and starts slashing, biting at him. Falcor dodges the slashes, avoids the biting, and bites down on the back of Vetrix's neck. Twists his head and 
smashes Vectrix into the ground, coils around Vectrix entirely, keeping his wings strapped to his body, and continue and bites into Ve into the back of Vectrix's neck, inflicting the his insides with Falcor's acidic saliva. Vectrix is roaring in pain, trying to flap the gills, but doesn't seem to be working on Falcor at all. He is trying to twist to try and squeeze out of Falcor's tight grip, but Falcor has, with his battle experience, has created a constricting grip to where he knows nothing can escape. As Vectrix is trying to squeeze out, he only constricts him tighter, uh, taking away his airflow as more acid continues to seep inside of Vectrix's insides. Vectrix is roaring in pain, but also gasping for breath. Falcor decides to show some mercy to toy with his opponent a bit. So he releases his bite and lets go of Vectrix for him to get away to regain himself. Only for Falcor to go back up to Vectrix, bite down onto his tail as Vectrix goes to fly away. And Falcor is just pulling Vectrix back, trying to pretty much saying, No, 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 you're not go you're not getting away. Just pulling Vectrix back as Vectrix trying to fly off. Falcor lifts up his tail above Vectrix and smashes it down onto his back, causing Vectrix to roar in pain as his back is just arched inwards as he slams into the ground. Falcor then goes up onto Vectrix bites into one of his wings and just pulls whilst pinning Vectrix to the ground, pulling his wing right off and breaking the other. Vectrix is roaring in pain and agony as he can't seem to do anything against this very battle-experienced foe. Falcor is seeming to show no more mercy, and right when he thinks Vectrix has suffered enough, he wraps his entire body around Vectrix's neck, and with one swift pull, breaks Vectrix, Vectrix's neck, and his body slumps to the ground, dead. Falcor is satisfied with his victory of toying with his opponent, but also showing him some mercy by ending it quickly. With that, Falcor has won, Vectrix has lost. If you think Vectrix has won, please don't comment below. You think that, however, my word's final, and Falcor's moving on to the next round. So I gave Falcor the victory because, honestly... Whilst Vedrix does have the flight advantage, if your main ability, which is Acid, won't work on Falcor, on your opponent, then honestly, your best bet is just trying to attack with Agility, and that's one thing Vedrix does not have, Agility. Falcor has the Agility to not only avoid all of his attacks, but also fight back, and catch Vectrix off guard. He, Falcor being a good beast, did show some sympathy to Vectrix. Only to then think, okay, I gave him some sympathy to be a crowd favourite. But he's coming back. So he pulled Vectrix back and just finishes it off there. Torturing Vectrix, yes. Letting him bleed out though, or having a long painful death, no. That's the, that's the good part about Falcor. He lets Vectrix die quickly. But with that being said, that's all for this time. That was a very quick battle compared to others. And if you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification button down below, and I'll see you next time.